Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In uh, today's video we have a lot to discuss. I got uh, a couple of requests so I'm gonna try my best to uh, respond to those. Uh, we're gonna discuss uh, of course we're gonna discuss first gold then we we'll look at silver then we we'll look at we're not looking at Joro. Actually I will make a comment on Joro. And then after that we we'll look at Ripple. After that we we'll look at uh, Bitcoin and in the end we we'll look at GDX because a special request came for GDX and it is actually uh, first I made a casual comment the comment was just too casual so pardon me for that it is not as casual as I thought and uh, the patterns are really messed up uh, the wave structure is absolutely in a trauma and we need to make sense of it and uh, I have done some work and I'm gonna share my view on that so we're gonna discuss all that so we're gonna go and in addition to uh, my analysis I'm gonna discuss I yesterday I posted a video and I wanted to share my what I have found in my research and that's exactly right as far as gold is concerned it was not a marketing gimmick so if you are actually trading gold and you think that you are um, gonna get uh, it will be very helpful for you to find the date of uh, uh, the the final drop and the final extreme of the trend and that's uh, August 12 on uh, July 23rd I mentioned that August uh, 12 is going to be last day uh, 12 or 13 maybe part of the day 13 but mostly it's gonna happen on 12 we're gonna see a $200 drop uh, from today from yesterday that is July 23rd of course we are trading days are off so it's gonna actually start from Monday so we're gonna gold is trading somewhere around eighteen hundred dollar and in these between days in between these days we're gonna see a drop of two hundred dollars I also mentioned uh, a stop loss area for so if you if anyone one, one if anyone is interested in uh, trading gold you can look at it first of all let's have a look at what do we have it alrighty <coughs> Mm, let's do it how gold and silver I said first right all right so let's go for gold and silver so in in short I'm expecting that uh, on a day four, four hourly chart I'm expecting that we have already completed the wave four we have wave one two three right over here and four and I'm expecting this whole price movement to be further downwards uh, we can put our stop loss uh, right here any price movement beyond this point would actually negate my analysis it means I have to figure out something else and I mentioned a day as well I mentioned a trading um, target for that and that's around 1590 or 1600 I also mentioned is just it just if this uh, resistance decides to be very stretchful that'll be uh, not this resistance sorry look this is what happens when you are in a rush so this is in case this resistance becomes really strong there's a possibility possibility we might get halted at, at 1680 but if it's happening before August 12 then don't worry about it is we're gonna penetrate it easily uh, like a uh, hot butter through knife <laughs> pardon me like a hot knife through butter I had a long day believe me guys so all right let's delete that so I initially after target is 1590 1600 dollar and then my um, research in indicated that it's gonna happen about on uh, not about on it's indicating exactly that it's gonna happen on August 12 2021 let's have a look at silver is uh, behaving amazingly strongly bearishly and nobody was uh, uh, you wanted to believe me when it was trading right at the top and I said that we are seeing going to see weakness in silver so we are going to see weakness in silver and we are heading towards it the initial target for silver is right in the between the 62.5 percent and 75 percent uh, there lies important support areas and this is uh, we already can see the strength in the behavior so my target area would be right in the middle right over here at 50 percent of in between 62.5 and 75 percent and that makes it seventeen dollar and sixteen cents so that's my target for silver and let's see how it goes uh, have a look at uh, let's have a look on a daily time frame for level time frame and establish any important uh, if prices fall below this top area that will be very very significantly important giving us an indication that something is wrong with the trend so this not not this one 
this important top is very important for our bearish price movement on a one hourly chart I saw some interesting pattern as well I want to indicate toward that here the flat pattern a B and C so this is five wave structure three wave structure five wave structure it seems to be right now complete and we are kind of heading down we can also draw a channel to contain the price movement and that will also behave nicely we can already see that the support is broken on the downside so this is giving us nice indication it's all covering the top levels and we can actually see that the price has come off the bottom as well so this is giving an indication that we probably have completed this correction as well let's have a quick comment on euro ladies and gentlemen you don't need me to comment I already mentioned in one of my previous videos that I am uh, thinking that US dollar and gold probably will drop together and that's why I was considering euro to go higher it did not go instead it get a lot it made a lot of mess and these deeper price movements are not fine they are absolutely absolutely not fine every time price came in we saw a correction then came in it without a deeper correction and it came down we saw a deeper correction and right now it's a little mess so if I am trading um, Joro I will be really careful if prices go above that level alright at this moment I would not put a bet on it but I'll be really careful I mean I'll become more bullish on euro when actually this supports get corrected if you want to be really more careful with the trend setup because it can be really nasty in the beginning of the trend this horizontal support is 1.1973 if it can cross this level safely then we'll come out of the nastiness of the beginning of the trend we can also see here whenever the new trend starts it becomes really nasty and when the trend is about to finish it becomes also nasty this has to do with the uh, strength of momentum so be really careful if you're trading it long time euro that's my personal opinion though that US dollar and gold both are looking to me that they're gonna drop that means the euro is going to cut stronger against US dollar so is Canadian dollar going to get stronger again and uh, let's have a look at British pound it showed very interesting structure uh, and initially which I used and what we have seen here on 4 hourly chart is not healthy the retest of this level is not healthy so if prices fall back below this support area again it is not healthy for British pound that means it will go further down one of the reason is because you have already broken the support and not only we have broken the support we are retesting it so how the hell is gonna work out this mess because British pound is giving different indication euro is giving different indication be really careful with the uh, trading if prices fall below 1.35635 that will be indicating that our bearish trend is on in British pound and then what we're going to discuss next is uh, ripple so I have to make a recall in ripple and Bitcoin uh, I am not going to change from my point of view from bearish to bullish no I'm still bearish but in terms of correction in one of my previous videos I was indicating that we might gonna see this I have bad news for you if someone is bullish on Bitcoin and uh, ripple and cryptocurrency in general the bad news is that uh, what was I was expecting was is wrong was wrong and uh, there is a very complicated pattern Elliott wave pattern it's called double three pattern it can be really really messy at times we have a zigzag pattern and we have a zigzag pattern and then we have a flat pattern if that way you can if you are really strict with a being a strict elitician you can simply consider that this flat pattern itself is very very important and I do not see prices of going way beyond if you're not ready to consider this whole because normally if a double three is side wave price movement some f a zigzag would occur a zigzag would finish right over here and then something like this would happen too so uh, this as you guys can see I'm not I haven't labeled it but this pattern on its own forming a double bottom and a double top is called flat pattern in uh, Elliott wave analysis and this on its own is giving a solid solid bearish outlook the reason because 
we have seen look at the prices fall and we have seen a deeper correction meaning there is quite a bit of strength left in the bullish movement although the bearish trend has already started but there's still quite a bit of kick left in the bullish price movement similarly when the prices drop again right over here too we saw that there was kick but not as much as right over here right now if you see another drop right over here and and you consider this whole as a five wave structure let's say wave one two three four and five then this shallow pattern is very very bearish because we are not going deep and remember also keep in mind that this pattern is taking a lot more time as compared to this pattern or this pattern so my top for ripple is going to be xrl going to be 73 cents 72 cents and then i'm looking for the prices to fall down we are seeing a similar behavior in uh, in the price of uh, bitcoin and exactly you guys can see that we have a sharper price movement deeper sharper price movement downward and not as deep correction so you can consider it as a wave a wave b or wave c uh, or in this case you can actually consider this whole price movement as I have considered it which is a wave A, wave B and wave C. I've considered it as a single zigzag and I'm considering this whole structure as triple three because this looks more reasonable uh, as for as the side wave pattern is concerned. I've considered the whole price movement as the wave X and then I'm going to expect another zigzag pattern downward. And if you are interested in tell showing me how I figured that out, so I'm considering this as a single zigzag of the correction, and I'm considering this as X, which itself is a zigzag. Within zigzag, we can see we have a flat correction, wave A, wave B, and wave C. So this is wave A, this is going to be wave B, this is going to be wave C, which forms our X, or as another zigzag pattern. And this is itself A, wave b wave c initially i was saying that we're expecting going to expect the prices to go at this level that seemed a lot stretch right now that i have given a close look to the um to the chart so initial target or actually the solid target seems to be 36,700 36,600 that seems to be the target for bitcoin and what happens after that I'm expecting prices to fall in this region which seems to be the support region in the previous structure so next price target would be around in there between 20,000 and 16,000 I am bearish on this is going to be very very risky bearish trade because just in case imagine if you are bearish on Bitcoin and it decides to go climb all the way up so you need to be really making sure that the trend actually has turned down uh, negative and there are two ways to down to do that you can actually combine wave 2 and 4 right so we can combine this and this which is going to give you a sharper and quicker signal a better signal would be combining the beginning of wave 1 and the end of wave 2 this would be even better signal if prices can actually fall below this trend line that would also help you to come out of the initial a hurdle that we initial zigzag positions or initial sharper ones and twos uh, to come out of the initial momentum and that will give you uh, a hint that now you can actually trade the market so be really careful with Bitcoin I'm strong with my uh, uh, like I'm confident with my call but as far as volatility is concerned if you are putting a lot of money on it then please be really careful with that GDX was the very important chart. It gave me a lot of time to uh, analyze it. So I'm going to look at GDX. Uh, it's basically gold miners index. So if some of you guys are interested in gold and silver mining, I think this is just on gold miners, not silver miners. So this is just gold miners uh, ETF. Holy. Uh, first of all, this is the support area that was covering the whole bullish price movement uh, we have seen a similar kind of behavior in uh, in silver as well where the new top was not created in silver but gold did create a new top so we do see that that the prices of uh, gold mining stocks went really high but on its own we did not see a new high as, as compared to previous high so 
what I'm thinking is that I'm considering this whole structure as a whole of course and the next target for let me this is weekly chart okay uh, let me turn the target zone for our uh, initial help is going to be 2370 the the weakness that we are expecting in gold which is about two hundred dollars so I'm expecting that the target for is quite strong I know understand that it's quite strong and I'm expecting that 2370 is going to be hit above that let's say we have another target area and then above that would be the target this one if if you see 2599 on or around August 12th or 13 and you see resistance that's an important resistance 2599 is our first target and 2370 is our second target these are very important target points as far as uh, concern as far as stop loss is concerned let me do a daily chart and I'll help you out where to do the stop loss uh, the pattern here is more clearer as far as the bearish outlook is concerned it's even better uh, more clearer as compared to gold and I show you why and we're seeing more weakness in GDX and I also give you the reason for that too okay let me see if I can actually make it uh, where's the reset button they have a reset button somewhere around here no ah, whatever okay it's coming into shape now and let's turn that to candles and uh, there you go yeah, okay my favorite chart candles I cannot make sense of any other chart actually all right so let's do that on a mm, two hourly basis uh, I want to show you uh, in a nice way you know, look I have to readjust so I want to show you the the pattern that actually gave us a lot of headache on in gold and it went deeper a little uh, but if you guys can look at it this t pattern itself is a flat correction is way way shallower as compared to gold itself giving us an indication that the trend downward is stronger as compared to gold so when I gave you target around uh, what what level was that so don't be really um, I mean uh, don't say that the target is too far that recent the underlying uh, trend is giving us an indication that the trend is strongly bearish because in terms of gold we went further down kind of we went up made a correction and went up down so somewhere 37.5 in in gold but this seems like hardly 25 percent so we have also already created a new bottom as as far as GDX is concerned we have not created a new bottom in gold so all this is pointing that we are strongly bearish in GDX uh, so stay away from gold mining stocks let's have a look on a weekly chart and Ah, light. All right. Okay. This, so this sums up our video. Um, we are bearish on gold. We are bearish on silver. We are bearish on uh, GDX. GDX is more strongly bearish, bearish as compared to uh, gold itself. I'm bearish on Bitcoin. Bearish on uh, Ripple. Uh, the Ripple and Bitcoin are supposed to be completing their uh, flat pattern in few days, and we are not going to see deep price movement in both of them I'm bullish on uh, euro and uh, Canadian dollar and British British pound is a little tricky so be really wait for uh, on the watch out and see it might turn out actually be bearish as compared to the bullish euro and bullish Canadian dollar use dollar I'm thinking that is gonna be a bearish trend wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye